Hey, Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, and the glory belongs to Yahab Sham, Yahab Shai, Bahasham, Wahava Kakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawah. Son's name is Yahab Shai, and who I reverence. I give honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening. And also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. I was thinking about that scene, right, in the Matrix. You know when he didn't, you know when he said, oh, I don't want to remember any of this. And he ate that steak and he became um a government in he became an informant, right? For the Matrix. Right? So I want to go into this. Look, I've watched certain videos, people talking about. Mind control, MK Ultra, and so forth. I'm going to say this. If you're of the elect, right? Yahavashah has already got you. There's nothing the enemy can do to stop that. You understand what I'm saying? All he can do is manipulate. That's all he can do. All he can do is create a simulation. Right? Pick a, pick a pill, Neo. The red pill or the blue pill? Let's go to first John. <laughs> oh man, let's go to all right. Let's go to John two. I'm gonna to jump to verse fifteen. Love not the world. This is my favorite scripture. Love not the world. So that's a huge expectation of your shoulders. Now you don't have to live up to the expectation of what others think. Because before, you, we were loving the world. Let's be honest. Right? You wanted to impress everybody. You cared about what people think. Does this mean we're walking around carelessly? No. Because you still got to conduct yourself in a certain manner. But we don't have to love this world. That's one way you break out of the matrix. By not loving this world. Neither the things that are in the world. Right? Money. Clothes. Nice cars. Right? All these things. If any man loved the word, the love of the Father is not in him. The scriptures say that clear. So if you love this word, the love of the Father is not in you. The scriptures say that. It's simple. Go to verse 16. And whoever has ears to hear, are gonna, they're going to hear this word. Because there is people listening. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, so it lets us know in verse 16, right? The lust of the flesh. And this flesh does lust, right? Continually. But what do we got to do? Keep our flesh in check, right? The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Because I notice this whole system is, is based on marketing. That's why you've got the billboards everywhere. You've got billboards everywhere. Buy this. Join this. Pay this much. Do this. Well, you got signs telling you what to do. Right? Or, or it's more a suggestion, should I say. That's what you've got. Advertising. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So all these things, you know how much they spend on marketing? Millions and millions and millions. Why do they have to spend on marketing? To captivate you. And there's a lot of witchcraft involved in marketing. Marketing, so like it. And the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. So we've got to put that aside. All them worldly ambitions you had in the world, put that aside. Right? 1 verse 17, and the world passeth away. So this, look, this gives us a heads up. And the world passeth away. So knowing that when it says the world passes away, it's talking about this rulership. So knowing this is going to pass away, what's the most precious thing we want to hold dear to? Is truth. And the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abide it forever. So if we know this, this system, this kingdom's going to pass away, what are you going to put your treasure in? Hey, this truth. Come on, man. Come on. Right? Let's go to First Thessalonians 1 and 
10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, it says them. So this is including Israelites and people of the world. They're going to perish. Right? In their unrighteousness. And it says with all deceivableness. Because in order for that mind control to work in the hypnotism, you have to buy into it. You have to play the game. You have to um, do that theatre. All that fake stuff. Because they've received not the love of the truth. That's why they're going to perish. Which is what the scriptures. This is the truth. What we're speaking. Not what you see out here. The theatre. The noise campaigns. The fake smiles. The fake laughter. That's all theatre. Right? The traffic. The synchronisation. Right? That costs a lot of money to do that. Okay? Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Check this out. Verse 11. For this cause the Most High shall send them strong delusion. So that's why Yahavashai sent these people strong delusion. Right? So if you're sent a strong delusion, what are you sent? Falsehoods. Lies. Right? This lies. Right? Like that individual in the Matrix. I know this steak ain't real, but... So and so, I forgot how it goes. <laughs> right? But in his own mind, he pretends it is. He's living a delusional life. Right? That's what happens when you consent to a lie. The Lord sends you delusions that they should believe a lie. So that's what most people are doing. That's why there's a lot of actors out here. Right? I don't want to be lied to, I want to be told the truth. I want to know the truth. I want to be lied to. Because you can't handle the truth. That's why. So you live you live a, a fairy tale. <laughs> Disneyland. Um, Disney, Disneyland. Joyride type of, type of spirit. That's not reality. And I quickly want to go into this word. Simulate. When you go into this word simulate, check, check what comes up. Pretend to be, pretend to have, or feel. So people are pretending. People are pretending. Right? It's all an act. That's what simulation is. It's an act. It's to pretend. To put on an act. I want to also want to go to system. Because when we talk about matrix, we what's the matrix? The matrix is the system. Go into the word, I'm reading off the dictionary, by the way. System, organized body, or connected things or parts forming complex whole. And it's a systematic, methodical, right? Arranged. So don't be surprised. Everything is like a everything around you is a simulation, right? A red car, white car, black car, simulation, right? Oh, traffic today, next next day there ain't going to be traffic, simulation, right? And it doesn't work. The MK, the MK Ultra doesn't work unless you buy into it. That's why they need people. Ah, would you go here? Would you stand there? I've told you this before. It's systematic. It's methodical. It's arranged. <laughs> That's what a simulation is. It's a range. Because it has, everything has to seem like it's normal. Like society is running normally. So they have certain people that are in place. And these are the agents that keep the matrix alive. They're, it's the agents that keep the matrix alive. But it's the ones with the truth that are breaking down it. They can see through it. And that's why when I see some of these people, I just shake my head. Sometimes you have to laugh because it's like, man... These people, they're trying to hold on to something that's going to perish anyway. Systematic, arranged, conducted. So, con hey, beautiful, conducted. So, everything they're doing is conducted. Oh, what could you, please, please, um, would you drive the car around this way and uh, would you, would you blast the music? As soon as you've gone past the area, turn down the music. Conducted. They've been told to do that because they're fucking stupid. That's why. According to system, 
systemize, arranged according to system. So that's why everything is carefully arranged. I never knew society ran like this from a young age. I never knew, but I'm learning all this stuff now. I never knew society was run like this. But it has to be run like that, right? To give you that illusion that everything's all right and to give you a false perception of reality. That's why it has to be done. Okay. Is there anything else? Now you know what we're gonna shut off here because I don't want to I don't want to draw this out too long. Right? But Lord willing this was edifying. And the scripture says in John 8 and 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The truth is you have a shy. So once you know you have a shy, he opens your eyes up. You're already in this truth. Your eyes you get opened up to everything. Everything. Right? So with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shadow on.